Hi, would you tell us your name and age? I'm Anne and I'm 41. Anne, what's your occupation? I'm a physical therapist. And what did you think about your first experience on the glide track today? Um, well, I've been nursing a knee injury on the left side for almost a year now. And uh, so the first part was I felt a little tension and kind of tightness. And so I, and then about, I don't know, probably about four or five minutes into it, then I actually started feeling this release, like it went away. And that's why I wanted to keep going to see how long is it going to take? So it, I think it took another six minutes or something before I started feeling like it's fatigued, I need to stop. But that was probably the first time since I could actually do this to kind of run before, until I was almost breathless. So, so you have not been able to run for the last year at all? Mm -mm, I try. And I just have to stop. Because and of pain? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and you ran here for a total of like 15? Uh, um, wherever we started. Yeah. I, I think we were messing around a little bit, but yeah, at least 10 minutes. Okay. So I could do it without hurting. What does it feel like now? Does it hurt? Is there any post workout pain? It feels a little, you know, tension. Probably like I need to go stretch it. You actually got me sweating. I haven't sweated for a while. <laughs> it's like I wasn't supposed to go sweating. So it was yeah. enough of a workout. Yeah, definitely. As a therapist, can you see applications for this in the world of therapy? Endless. Yeah. For example. Oh gosh, I, I think there's so many people that just need that. Especially, well, especially the lower extremities. I think that's really appropriate. But um, getting back to the core, the core is um, what I felt. I was actually using more than I ever thought of with running, and um, that the fact that you have a little bit that freedom of going back and forth that you really have to I think, balance yourself more than you would say running, because you are de-weighted so much that you start sliding back and forth. And if you can really work on that core, then you've got that you can get that perfect strike on both sides. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, I bet my stomach will feel it tomorrow, <laughs> which is cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can really feel it. Yeah. Could you feel a change in weight bearing as we change the incline decline of the treadmill significantly? <clears throat> um, we first started out, I was about 50% weight bearing. I think um, that's my body could handle that. And then we lowered it a little bit, so I was more about 20, 25% weight bearing. And just when you get more tired, then you can go to more of a cardiovascular workout and a glide versus the weight bearing. So I think that's a fun thing to play with. How much can my body accept and then how much can my heart <laughs> accept? So yeah, that was cool to have those different options. And it's so fast that you can just change it in a couple seconds. Do you feel safe on it? Do you think people oh, yeah. will be safe? No problem, especially if you use the shoulder straps. If you feel like you're going to fall over, you, then you won't have that problem. But yeah, for sure. How was the challenge of getting in and out and, and getting set up for you? Well, I had help, so <laughs> that, As you that made it easy. So I think if you figure it out and you, you, you learn, and the winch system that you have set up on the other one, I think that makes it a lot easier for people that who have arthritis in their hands. And for therapists who are assisting. Yes, I think that it's the learning curve that's the hardest, and once they get it down, I think then that's no big deal. But yeah. Well, Anne, thank you for coming here, and thank you for trying this, and for your very valuable input today. Well, thanks for letting me. I think we should go glide cycling now. I think so, too. <laughs> All right, sounds great.